A five-member team will now make up the state's first-ever blue-green algae task force. It's set to tackle the toxic blooms like these the last year along the Gulf Coast. Action News Jack's Lauren Inkland spoke with the head of St. John's Riverkeeper and found out he believes it is a step in the right direction. We can all agree that we don't want to see our waterways infested with toxic algae, but not everyone agrees on how to solve the problem, which is why the environmental community is hoping that this task force will find common ground. Todd Arias recently got into fishing, so for him, having a clean waterway is not only important, it's a necessity. Yeah, it concerns just because, I mean, it's the earth, you know. We need it at the end of the day. Which is why Governor DeSantis started the first ever task force dedicated to eradicating this site, toxic green algae. We know what is polluting our waterways. We just have to stop that pollution from making it into the, into the water. The St. John's Riverkeeper Executive Director Jimmy Orth is hoping the task force can focus more on prevention rather than just ways to clean up the river. We've got the right people around the table. Now we just have to come up with the right recommendations. The group is made up of environmental experts and scientists from around Florida. St. John's Riverkeeper Lisa Reineman was there for their first meeting. She got confirmation from the Department of Environmental Protection uh, Secretary and the chair of the committee that the St. John's will be part of this, um, the, the focus of this task force. While there's still a long way to go before solutions are on the table, for now, environmental advocates can agree this is a step in the right direction. Orth tells me that the task force plans to come out with recommendations as soon as this summer. Reporting from the Southside, Lorena Inclan, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.